Welcome back, this is Coop from GarageGymReviews.com and today I'm going to show you how to take an old rusty barbell, a barbell with all kinds of surface rust, a barbell that's been sweated on, that's had blood on it. Say what? That's had all sorts of things that come with training and I'm going to take it from a rusty barbell into a shiny, almost better than new bar. Let me show you how. So I've had the opportunity to use a lot of barbells, but what I've found is no matter what bar you use, except if maybe you use Cerakote, is they're going to have some sort of surface rust on them. Now stainless steel and Cerakote, they do a really good job of preventing corrosion. That said though, even something like a chrome coated bar that really shouldn't experience a lot of surface rust. Even my Leco will have some surface rust on it if you don't take care of it. And to be honest, I'm not the best taker carer of my barbells, so today I'm gonna give them some TLC. And what I'm gonna use for this, I'll just show you real quick. I'm gonna use this bronze bri bristle brush. This is actually what Alico used to send with the bar their bars. I wouldn't use this for daily maintenance, but if you're really trying to get into the bar, this thing is, can't be beat. In addition to this, I'm going to use Bar Shield. Now, this isn't a product endorsement because, to be honest, this is an okay product. It's really not all that great. It's just a plastic bristle brush and some 3 in 1 oil, I would assume, that's put into a different jar. Okay, I'm going to use this, but you can also use your standard 3 in 1 oil. Good stuff and just a plastic bristle brush from anywhere you want. Okay, you decide what you want to use, but these are the tools that I'm going to use, and I'm going to take this bar from surface rust to gold, or actually surface rust to silver. Let's go. Now, the bar that I will be performing surgery on is this one right here. This is an American Barbell training bar. As you can see, there is lots of ugly surface rust. Okay, there's tons of it. There you go, you can see it right there. Nobody, look at that right there. That's just awful. Exactly, nobody wants to use that, but we're gonna clean it up, okay? And although it looks really crappy right now, when we're done with it, it's gonna look like it was never there and it's gonna be super clean. Step one, remove the bar from the bar rack. Step two is you're gonna take your plastic bristle brush. Now, I know this one's not gonna work, but I'm gonna see if it works on camera because this is what you should be doing. The reason you should do this is because this is gonna provide, I guess, less wear to the bar. The bronze bristle brush is obviously a tougher brush. I don't really think it's gonna scar many finishes. I haven't had that happen personally, but I don't wanna tell you to do it and it happens. So take a bronze bristle brush. This is the one from Bar Shield. Rogue makes them. You can find them, you know, you can find them in the toilet aisle at Walmart. So you just rub it and see what happens. Now, bronze doesn't get in there the way, or plastic's not gonna get in there the way bronze will, so you kinda wanna just rub it, see what happens. I'm noticing that, well, nothing's happening. So then that's when I'm gonna upgrade to step three, which is the bronze bristle brush. Bronze bristle brush, bronze bristle brush, bronze bristle brush. This bad boy right here. So as you can see, we have a big pocket of rust right here. So I'm basically just gonna work on this for a while. And you can see, and I'll put it in a time lapse. Okay, so I've got a lot of the grime out of there. There's obviously some surface rust that's still there. What I'm then gonna do is gonna take the three in one oil, or you could take the oil that comes with Bar Shield, put it on there, and I'm gonna rub it some more. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna take a rag and kind of wipe it off and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Watch you just look out. at it! Yeah. It's beautiful. It's like there was never even rust there. In fact, it almost looks brand new. Now, obviously there's still some left. That will take extra care, but for the most part, as you can see, you can take away most of the surface rust and make it look brand new. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spend a few more minutes on this, clean up as much as I can, and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've now been working on this bar for probably around seven minutes or so. And I've gone from this, as you can see here, I will make it so you can zoom in on that. As you can see, lots of rust, surface rust, everything like that, 
and watch the magic and turn it to that. So as you can see, that's a huge change. Now, is there still some little pockets of surface rust? Yes. Can you get all those off? Yes, I believe you can. It just takes more work, more time, everything like that. I'm not trying to get a perfect bar right now, really. I'm just trying to make it so it's not crazy noticeable like it was. So it's gone from this, the before, to that, the after. Absolutely beautiful. That's how easy this is. Now, a couple tips for how to keep your bar clean. First off, you want to brush it after you train with it. So if there's any sort of chalk or anything like that, that sweat that's been ground into the neural, that's what's gonna cause the surface rust, is that moisture. So if you can go through after every time you train and wipe it off, um, you know, use a brush, that would be great. You don't have to oil it every time. And then I would say weekly, monthly, quarterly, whatever schedule you wanna come up with, you can actually oil the brush, brush it all down and make sure it looks clean. Okay, that's kind of what I've done with this Ohio bar. I really like this bar and I try to keep it clean. So that, I go about every couple weeks and I'll just brush it down and I'll apply some oil to it. This is stainless steel, so that's another thing that you can look out for. Stainless steel and Cerakote are gonna have much higher corrosion resistance than something like zinc or electroless nickel or um, I don't know, black zinc, chrome, any coating like that, okay? So if you're in a garage gym and you're facing a lot of fluctuating humidity, then I would definitely suggest something like a Cerakote or stainless steel bar. Yes, it's gonna cost more, but you're not gonna see as much rust. And stainless steel doesn't have any coating in between your hand and the actual bar, so the knurling's gonna feel even better than normal. Okay, well thank you for watching. Appreciate it, hopefully it's been helpful. If you wanna see other restoration videos or things like this, let me know in the comment section below and we will see you next time. Also, you may be noticing that we are in a new gym. More to come on that soon.